I first started yoga out of desperation. It was, I'd been on um, antidepressants and all sorts of medication for 20 years. I've been suffering from depression for as long as I can remember. And I was eventually faced with this reality of go to hospital. Or as my psychologist said, just give it a shot, try yoga. I had nothing to lose, so I tried yoga. And in an instant, it was in my third meditation class, I was very lucky where I had this really powerful and strong awakening, or what's known as Shaktipata in yoga. And this changed everything. So it was in an instant, I kind of knew that depression had permanently altered, altered its course and altered its, its, its direction. And uh, yeah, six months, after starting yoga, going to my first class, I came up for my medication. So that's, that's my journey into yoga. It's hard to see a life without yoga. I can't remember, I can't even recall how I interacted and how I engaged in life on a daily basis before yoga. Yoga is, it is life. It's absolutely everything I encounter and everything I see. And so how yoga has affected my life, my daily life, it's enabled me to live a life where I can experience true joy and just complete contentment. And this is everything. This is life. The yoga community in Copenhagen is so accepting and so really geared towards healing, towards love, towards kindness. And so to come here and practice your, your yoga, you're not only going to learn a lot and be exposed to a lot of authentic teachings, but you're also going to be exposed to this community. And it's this community, or as we say in, in yoga, Sangha, that gives us support, that gives us help and this, this love and this acceptance. And in this space, you can really take that practice as far as you like. When I'm not doing yoga, yeah, I love eating. <laughs> I love good food. Um, I love spending time on the beach, being in, being in nature, being, being uh, around water, being around trees. But I also, I love taking photographs and I, I'm a photographer and yeah, doing, doing photography, creating videos, sharing stories of other people and writing. Um, but yeah, yoga doesn't mean that we're permanently practicing asana as a lot of people assume it to be, but you can practice yoga in everything you do. So it's about taking everything in daily life, whatever it may be, and just making it something special, something that you truly engage with. I love it. The moment that you realize that you are not entirely isolated, that there is this deeper connection between you and absolutely everything else, when you start to see the world on this level, even if you're struggling, even if there's difficulty, there is a beauty to life. And so for me, yoga is about continually remembering that there is this connection.